Meanwhile, at Moscow. All right. So talking about teaming up, we've got an update. Uh, Last week, I talked about how I was happy that Desiring God, uh, not Desiring God, Bethlehem College and Seminary, that they made the decision uh, to, well, I guess I can't give them that credit. Dang it. I really want to give them credit because I feel like I'm hard on them sometimes. But I guess they didn't even make the decision. Joe Rigney resigned. Uh, he resigned last week, and he he wrote a you know a statement that we got little clips of. And I always you know when you see something about like a letter of someone leaving a ministry or you know this is what they said they said this part and this part, and you don't get the context. Think about that like like a, a congregant who leaves the church and they write a letter of resignation to that church and how leadership will usually like read like three sentences from that letter and they're not going to read the rest, even though, you know, like there's a lot of details in the rest of it that they wanted to communicate and they're not going to. That's kind of what that that letter was last week. Uh, so Joe Regney said that he didn't have any plans uh, uh, for where he was going to end up. Well, it didn't take long because a week later <laughs> he is teaming up with the guys in Moscow and we are all shocked, right? <laughs> like, ah, uh, you know, I said it last week. If I was a betting man, I would bet all of my money, all of my money <laughs> that he was going to end up in Moscow. And I know I'm not the only one. I know pretty much everyone who, who knows about Rigney and his connections to Doug Wilson knew that it was only a matter of time before he ended up going there. But what's interesting to me, I don't, I'm not going to show you, but you could go and look up this tweet from Ben Merkel. He's the, I guess it says there at president NSA. So I'm guessing his role is president of new St. Andrews. He says, it is my sincere uh, pleasure to announce that Joe Rigney will be joining the New St. Andrews faculty as a fellow of theology this fall. Read more about it here. And if you click on the link, what's interesting there is that they talk about uh, the family is going to move out there in the summer and how he's going to take a part-time church position at Christ Church. All right, that that to me is a little like, wait, what? Uh, you know, I kind of assume that's what happened with uh, Jared Longshore. Um, but I, I, to be honest, I haven't looked that up. So maybe I'm wrong there. I don't know if he's actually on staff at the church as well. Um, but this this is kind of surprising to me because last week we we saw from uh, the the board, I guess, I, I think John, uh, John Piper and someone else, I forget who it was, wrote that letter uh, that we read uh, about his, uh, about Rigney's resignation and all of that. And they described Joe Rigney's position as being open, open on the issue of baptism. So it seems he got real closed in a week (laughs) Uh, because he's going to be taking a position at the church. And the church definitely has a position on uh, pedo-baptism. And so like, this is, this is confusing to me of one week later, not just that he's going to work at the school, which I assumed and a lot of us assumed, but what's surprising to me is that he's going to be working at the church. Uh, and so I guess he went from Baptist to whatever the heck Doug Wilson's, uh, church is because they're not Presbyterian and they're not Baptist and they're in like this weird Weird Venn diagram between the two mixed with a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I guess, mm, does that also mean that Joe Rigney uh, believes in federal vision? Is that an issue of like an open-handed issue for the the staff members at Christ Church, for the elders there? That seems like a big thing for for them to be open-handed about. Um, but if that's true, that's also deeply concerning. Um, uh, but regardless, I guess, uh, Joe Rigney has landed on his issue about baptism and isn't open on that, uh, which is also very concerning. So very odd 
to be shifting so much within a year. Again, he was inaugurated, I think it was like February 6th, 2022, as the president of a Baptist college with Bethlehem College and Seminary. And now he will be on staff at New St. Andrews and on staff at Christ Church. So there's the teaming up that's happening. And we're getting split up. The quadrants of evangelicalism are getting split up into these areas. Moscow is its own thing. And uh, now we have masters seemingly trying to make a play, especially with John MacArthur speaking at that conservative Baptist network thing at the annual meeting last year. Like it seems like he's making a play and Tom Askell are trying to make a play for like the more conservative churches in the SBC. And then there's G3 kind of going in between the two. And like, it just seems like this is what's happening in evangelicalism and it's being split up and everyone is the enemy and none of us can be friends. Um, partly because some of us are holding hands with Doug Wilson. So that's, that's a problem because like he's a heretic. So, uh, like this is very troubling, but they're like kind of having some connections, Vody Bauckham going and he was just there speaking at, um, uh, at, uh, Christ church and doing all the, like do, making all the videos, you'll see all the content coming out. Also, I joked about it on Twitter, but does this mean with Joe Rigney, uh, joining Christ church and, uh, new St. Andrews, does this mean he gets a YouTube channel now? He's going to get a YouTube channel where he sits in a chair and he just reads his blog in a monotone voice and has like no interaction with anybody but he's just going to read his blog and pretend that it's clever like the rest of them. Cause I'm getting a little tired of YouTube telling me that I need to watch these videos. Cause I don't want to watch these videos, but for some reason, YouTube is like, you're going to watch these videos. And I keep on saying, no, leave me alone. YouTube. I don't want it. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I didn't see you there. Um, <laughs> didn't think you were going to watch the whole video, but you did. So, that's good. Um, probably means that you like the video, so hit the like button before you click over here, maybe. YouTube is going to have a video over here for you to watch. Right here. Just for you.